Hey yo. Uh today I'm gonna show that um that triple triple Janet into Nuff Punch noob noob setup into the 50-50. Uh it's a little difficult to do, but if you get it down it's you can make some pretty like full health death sequences, full health combos. You're always gonna need one meter. So you're gonna need one bar. Hold on, let me make my um let me make my super meter like normal. So you're gonna need one meter, and you're gonna need a full cameo gauge, so you're gonna need all of Janet too. Alright. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is every time you get a hit confirm into the teleport, the the opponent gets launched like that, right? So the normal combo would maybe look like this. And then right into the teleport. And then you do the call to Janet. So what I like to do is I like to call the two close Janets right away. So I spam the cameo button while I call it. It's right after the pop-up, like right there. I gotta do it after a move hits the ground, you know? So like now, you like delay it a little bit. All right, but you're gonna wanna do um, three of them. Yeah, but you see how I'm moving back? We don't want that. <clears throat> what we're gonna do in the middle of it is we're gonna call down back to, and we're gonna do the far version of it. But if we're doing back Janet, how does like forward, back forward, a down back to, and then forward along with the far version of it? How do we do that? Well, because even if you're doing forward Janet, it doesn't matter, or back Janet. You can still, um, if you're still spamming the cameo button, the Janet will come out. So, you switch. Initially, you do the close one, and then you switch to the far one. Or you switch to, like, you know, you just switch sides. If you look at my, if you look at my inputs. Alright, so that's what you do. And then you do down back one, amplified. Now this move's a little weird, I, I gotta explain it as well. Down back one, uh, he puts this little green ball. And if the green ball uh, hits the opponent, the way you let it go is by down L2. If you down back one again, it's basically a launcher, right? <laughs> I'm not making a new tutorial. I'm only showing how to do the restand 50-50. You got that. And then the nut punch. So that's the setup right there. Now, what do we do after the nut punch? Well, after the nut punch, you're gonna do a dash up, stand four, and you're either gonna do stand four into the low, which is gonna look like this, all right? Or you're gonna do stand four, four into down back two, and they both combo, so like, Let's say I do the low mix-up. Like that. And you get a pretty good, pretty good lift. I mean, look at that damage. And then the other 50-50. You do 4-4 four, four, down back 2. But while the down back 2 is coming out, you're gonna, let, you're gonna do the down L2 to let go of the... The, the, the ghost ball so this whole thing can combo. See I did it too early there. It's supposed to, you're supposed to let go of L2 after basically when you see this coming out. When you see down back 2 coming out. Alright. Like that. This is the combo I do. Oh and then just another 1-2 teleport. And that's gonna be it. That's it's it's simple as that. Uh, you can get full health comebacks with this 50-50. Now you can do an easier version of this setup too. Uh, it has like a safe jump, but you it's kind of hard to time. So you do you only do two Janets. All right, you do two Janets, and then you call the normal portal and you combo it. And then you do this. You do a safe jump. 
and then you just set up like that. But timing the safe jump is a little hard, so what we're gonna do is make the opponent have get up mode on. Alright, so. Oh. I was too early. And there we go. I broke the armor. Uh, so the, you gotta jump right away, basically. And then that's the only way to break the armor. And keep in mind, this does not work against like a lot of characters because their armors, armor moves are way too quick. Some some armor moves you just cannot break with stand to, uh, jump two into stand four because it's just too slow. So that's why I recommend doing the the triple Janet one. See, I'm messing it up now. There we go. That's why I recommend doing the um, Restand one, the, tri the Triple Janet one. It's more expensive, but it gives a pretty much guaranteed mix. Uh, uh, what would you do if they delayed wake up? Mm, there's a few. There's actually one thing you can do. It's pretty cheap. It doesn't always work, I think. But uh, let's see. Let's make the opponent uh, have get up delay on. Uh, no get up mode though. So if they go down, yeah, all right. So let's say we do the the normal one. What I would do I would just do like something like that <laughs> because they're not gonna get hit by the initial jump too, right? And we're gonna see a whiff, and when we see that. We're not going to go into that, so here. Oh, messed it up there. Just do something dirty like that, I guess. Uh, that's gonna be it uh, for the 50-50. Um, I'm may I might make a new Cyborg tutorial later on when I get better with him, but for now I'm just playing him and having fun. After allowing it for so long, too. Still up, not optimal, normal. Bruh. I'm jumping. I got sim. Let's go, let's go! Why did I do so? Look at the damage! 